also paved the way for Ukraine to shoot down a Russian transport plane carrying hundreds of troops in the early days of the war, the officials say, helping repel a Russian assault on a key airport near Kiev. The details about the air defenses and the transport plane, which have not previously been reported, underscore why. Two months into the war, officials assess that intelligence from U.S. spy agencies and the Pentagon has been an important factor in helping Ukraine thwart Russia's effort to seize most of the country. Ukraine continues to move air defenses and aircraft nearly every day with the help of American intelligence, which is one reason Russia has not been able to establish air dominance while U.S.-Ukrainian cooperation had been building since Russia seized Crimea in 2014. The Biden administration shifted into high gear in the weeks before the Russian invasion when a U.S. military team visited to assess the state of Ukraine's air defenses. The Americans provided Ukraine with detailed advice about how to disperse their air defense systems, a move that U.S. officials say helped Ukraine prevent Russia from seizing control of the skies. Once the invasion got underway, lawyers in the U.S. defense and intelligence bureaucracy imposed guidance that in some cases limited the sharing of targeting information that could enable lethal Ukrainian strikes against Russians. Earlier this month, for example, the Director of National Intelligence withdrew and replaced a memo that prohibited intelligence sharing for the purposes of regaining captured territory or aiding Ukrainian strikes in Crimea, or the Donbass official said. Even before the change, the U.S. had provided Ukraine with timely information enabling it to better target Russian forces. Ukrainian forces have used specific coordinates shared by the U.S. to direct fire on Russian positions and aircraft. Those early shootouts helped thwart the Russian air assault operation designed to take Hostomol airport near Kiev, which would have allowed the Russians to flood troops and equipment to the region around the capital. The Russians eventually took the airport for a time, but never had enough control to fly in massive amounts of equipment. The U.S. military and the CIA began seeking to deepen their relationships with Ukrainian counterparts after Russia seized Crimea in 2014. The CIA first helped Ukrainian services root out Russian spies, the former senior official said, and then provided training and guidance. The U.S. military also trained Ukrainian soldiers. One Western intelligence official noted that it's not only the intelligence that has proven decisive, it's the performance of the Ukrainians in using it. The source said, Ukrainians have fought the Russians with agility and courage, and when they have received actionable intelligence, they have moved with astonishing speed. McLaughlin said the Ukrainians have made clever use of the so-called open-source intelligence commercial satellite imagery and intercepts of Russians talking openly on unencrypted radios. The fact that there is so much open source intelligence available means that those collecting classified intelligence can focus on the things that are really hard and not publicly available. As the Ukrainian government sees it, intelligence sharing has improved, a source familiar with the government's view. Meanwhile, the German government will send Ukraine around 50 Gepard air defense tanks to help that country repel Russian attacks, German and U.S. officials said at a conference here.
The vehicles, made by Cross Maffei Wegman, are no longer in the inventory of the German armed forces, but the manufacturer has kept a number in its own stocks. The ease of use of the two cannon flag setup, mounted on a Leopard tank chassis, has made the Gepard a favorite among military experts, especially as the Bundeswehr looks for no frills defenses against drones.